Task 3.9 Bank Reconciliation To record bank reconciliation, you have to go to GL and Bank Reconciliation The first instruction says that create a new bank reconciliation for 310CIMP on 30th of April So you have to choose CIMP Bank here and to create the bank reconciliation, you have to go to new button the bank statement date is at 30th of April, so you choose 30th of April here and you can just click OK. Here is all the transaction that related to CIMB Bank in the date range of 1st of April until 30th of April only. Okay, so to do bank reconciliation in AutoCount, what you need to do is you need to compare the system transaction with the with your bank statement that you receive from CIMB. Okay, first step is for you to key in the actual bank statement balance. The actual bank statement balance is at the bottom right side. You can see there is an actual bank statement balance here. So you have to refer to your bank statement. What is your actual bank statement balance? So you put 107500 and you can see there's a difference of 5500. To make it bank reconciliation balance, this difference must be zero. So what you need to do now is you need to compare the your bank statement with the transaction that you have in the system. The first transaction is 15 on April 333001 debit 2000. So if your amount debit 2000 in your bank statement, the amount here in your system will be in credit side. So 2000 credit side, the check number, the description 333001. If you have that transaction, you can just tick on the small box there. The next one which will be HSBC 11122 2500 credit. So if the credit side, it will be on the debit side, which is HSBC 11122 and 2500. If got, you just tick. The third one is the HLB 333444 okay, on the credit side 6000 so in your system will be debit side so this is the amount and this is the check number if the same you can just tick and the last transaction is 333003 debit side 1000 so if debit side it will be on the credit side 33304 Sorry, 33303, this one, and if you got, you can just tick. So when you tick the last transaction, you can see the difference here has become zero. So what you need to do now is you just click on the OK button to save your bank reconciliation. To see the status of your bank reconciliation, you just need to click on refresh to see your bank reconciliation balance here so the status it will become balance okay so to process and preview the bank reconciliation statement what you can do is you need to highlight this one the bank reconciliation that you already processed and you can actually preview the bank reconciliation with two report one bank reconciliation report and another one is bank reconcile transaction report so you have two choices to choose to view your bank reconciliation. So that is for the task 3.9. The next task is task 3.10. 3.10 is user control. Okay, to go to the user control, you have to go to the general maintenance. Okay, first you have to go to the user maintenance. Okay, so Click on the user and maintenance. Currently, you have two users, which is one admin and another one EOTG. So, you have to create another one more user. To create another one more user, you need to click on the new button. 
okay and you can see the user login id you have to key in the details so for example user login id is user username is new user okay and the password is user confirm password user as well so for the password age you have to choose whether the password never expired or the password expired after how many days so this one depends on your preference so if you have any info on the department email address and the signature you can just uh, put in here so currently we have all this information so to save you can just click on the save button here so now you can see there's a one new user okay user for this and to give an access right for this user you need to close from the user maintenance go back to the general maintenance and you have to go to the access right maintenance okay so you have to assign the access right to the user certain access right to the user so to view the access right you have to click on the plus sign to expand the auto account accounting so we have we have few category here we have gl ar ap invoicing until import and export so the first access right that we want to give to this user is account receivable so what we need to do is to highlight er and expand it so all under er here we want to give the access right to this user after we highlight er we can just go to the right side set group access right and you need to find the user which is the last one and you click on the arrow down button and you choose add after that you can just click ok apply this setting to all sub comments yes if you choose no then you means you need to uh, assign one by one not all 288 so it's easier for you to choose yes so it will automatically assign for you Okay, so that is the first AR access right. The second access right that we want to give to this user is backup. Only backup. So what you can do is you go to the tools. Okay. And then you highlight only backup. Okay. You are not going to give everything in tools. You only, uh, you only will open the access right to backup only. So highlight backup set group access right user add click ok apply this setting to all sub comments yes and the last one will be cash book entry in bracket accept delete cash transaction how are you going to do that first of all we have to go to the general ledger here and highlight the cash book entry so Basically, we are going to give an access right for user for this cash book entry but at the same time, we don't want to give an access right for this user to delete the cash transaction. So, how are we going to do? First, highlight cash book entry, set group access right, find user and add. After that, you go to individual individual entry, which is delete cash transaction here, and on the right side you untick the user and you apply. So basically, here in this entry, you can see this user can do everything except delete cash transaction. So. What you can do, you can play uh, play around by log in to your account book using admin. Sorry, using user and user as a password. Okay, so after you have done everything, the access right. The last will be to backup your work. So to backup, you have to go to tools backup, 
and the backup file name you rename to backup task three point one one. After that, you choose the folder. If you still want to backup under this folder, you can just straight click on the backup tool. And the backup completed successfully. So after you're done, you can just close. And that's all for the chapter 3.